I'm also behind the camera on this hunt as I film my brother-in-law Eric chasing South Florida hogs. One of the hogs picks up our movement, and for now the stock is on hold. The pigs decide they better not stick around and move off into the brush. We circle around the pigs and at this point are hurrying to cut them off. have one in front of us and Eric stands patiently waiting for a shot. Eric, nice shot. Now let's head back in time to the first hunt we ever captured over my father's shoulder. I'm filming with an old Super VHS video camera. First Pavelina, first morning, we decided to, to stalk this area. A lot of prickly pear. Uh, it looked real good. I could see a lot of gnaw marks on a prickly pear. And we were just stalking around. Uh, all of a sudden, on our left, it started to come through. So I spotted some, so I waited. First one walked out in the open, and uh, I shot him. Hit him, uh, hit him right here. Good double lung shot. Uh, Real pleased with it. On this hunt, we join my longtime friend Derek Jabs as he films my father in northern Maine. My dad has to watch this bear come in and out of the bait site several times before offering him a good shot. Good job, Dick. Here. 
bear. Unfortunately, I, I made a shot on a, a decent bear, young boar, and uh, like I say, we captured it all on film, so now the work begins dragging it out. Not too bad, guys, huh? No. Like, tell me what's going on here. This camera is the camera I used in Africa, and I used this season to film some whitetail kills that I was just filming myself for Bill's videos. And we just got into his editing room and realized that not only did the thing sound like an old World War II, it didn't have no sound quality at all to it. So we have to kill this thing. So I think that's what we're gonna do. What do you think, Bill? I think that camera ruined a lot of good hunting footage. All it does is, man, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe, the elephant hunt. <laughs> All of it. Now look at it. <laughs> There's only one way to take care of a bad camera. With a good hit. Nice shot, Mike. Double long or what? Now that's not a. Sh that's called a cannon shish kebab right there. We're gonna serve this thing up on the next hunt to, to something. I'll tell you what. This camera cost me a lot of grief right here. That's too bad. The footage. The footage is pretty good, but the uh, the sound. The sound didn't come out at all. Yeah. It's ruined yeah. it. But well, we'll, we'll we're gonna show you the footage next, anyways, and. We didn't quite get a pass through, but you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. I'll take it. Now it's time to go get a real camera. <laughs> nice. There's a big buck in the moonlight. He's wreaking havoc upon a little tree. Polishing up his main beams. He's not even thinking about me. I've been sharpening up my broadheads. I've been practicing with my bow. There's a contest between us that's coming. He's a hard one to hunt, I should know. You see, I've chased him for two other seasons, always thinking that he would be mine. But he always stayed one step ahead of me. Yes, he beat me every time. That was then, yesterday I've learned a lot about that buck and his ways There'll come a moment when he'll slip up This old hunter will be there for his prey It's an old game, the one we're playing. It's been around since the beginning. On this hunt, it's early September. I'm sitting over a food plot and the temperature is 85 degrees. This young buck is the first deer to enter the food plot. But the buck that follows is something else. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know whether this buck was hurt in a car accident or ran into a tree or was born like that. At this point, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just trying to get some good footage of it.
Besides having a screwed up antler, this buck's got a pretty good scar that runs from his belly to his back, about four inches behind his shoulders you can see here in the footage. I'm not really sure what to make of this buck, but as he starts to walk off, I decide he's too unique of a deer to let go, and I take him. I had seen him once before, and uh, he's got a horn that just grows like, looks like right up out of the eye socket or the top of the eye socket. Um, it was a close shot and good footage, so I took him. What a wild looking deer. Let's get down and take a look at him. Wow. Okay, there's the arrow. Blood looks good on it. Looks real good. I was sitting right up there in that tree stand, right there. It was about a 15 yard shot. Young buck, but I think he went down real close. I don't think he went more than maybe 50, 60 yards because I, I heard him fall. Got blood right through here. Ah, there he is. Yeah, he didn't go very far at all. Right close, died right close to the field. It's really hard filming yourself and I apologize, but this is the best I can do. Everyone else is out hunting themselves, so man, hit him good. What a wild looking deer. Wild, wild looking deer. Lift that head up there. Man, I've never seen anything like this. Look at that. Wow. Shot him with the Black Widow bow and the Wenzel Woodsman. He's got some serious big ticks on him, but look at that. I don't know whether that's an injury. It looks like an injury. But, wow. What a wild looking deer. That's cool. Let's get him out to the field. Feels like the skull plate was broken earlier in the year. He's got a great big scar that runs up his side right here. All the way to his back. I don't know whether he was hit by a car or what, but he's got a great big scar that runs right up his side. With this wild looking club antler here. I assume maybe it was broke. One, two, three points on this side. And there's some velvet still left on this here. But that's pretty neat. Really neat looking deer. And I thought this here was an engorged tick, but it's actually a wart. Which uh, you see in the magazines a lot, but I haven't seen very many deer actually with warts on them <clears throat> in person, but this one's one of them. But that's a wild, unique looking buck. Shot him with my Black Widow bow and Wenzel Woodsman broadhead. Great hunt. Good clean kill. Gotta get him home and show the kids. There's a big buck in the moonlight. He's wreaking havoc up on a little tree.